Yes guys, welcome to today's video. As you can see, it's around 6 a.m. and we're in the gym. I'm gonna train some back, then we're just gonna go through some other meals that I'll have through the day, and a bit of a day in the life as well. So let's get on with it. Then, so gonna go through a little bit of a physique update. Um, I'm looking a bit better than last time. Get a little bit more full up. I'm a little bit leaner around the chest, tries back coming in a little bit, but still a lot to work on. But it's still winter right now, so kind of not watching the calories as much as I would like to just because I've got other things to do business wise so on and so forth but um, come summertime it's going to be game on but like I said I've just had to cut that a little bit short just because I've got a little bit of a niggle on my back so yeah this is my current physique all right we'll get there though Boom. Right guys, so I've just trained. Um, you didn't actually see my breakfast, but so I'll just tell you what I had. For breakfast, I just had two slices of whole grain bread with three whole eggs as well. Bit of salt, bit of pepper um, for that back session. Uh, this is typical of the meals I'm eating right now. So all I've got in here is I prepped this last night. Um, I've just got some chicken breast, some chicken steak actually, some grilled chicken steak. Um, I'll just put a little bit of like low calorie sauce in there, maybe some salad cream, something like that. I know what you're thinking, there's a lot of rice in there, there's also a lot of rice in there. Because we're in winter and stuff, I do like to build a little bit bigger for winter. I am holding probably a little bit more fat than I, I usually would, just because that's just the simple fact that it's winter and I don't really want to be absolutely lean shredded in winter because it gets fucking cold and you know. All I'm going to do is warm that up in the microwave, make sure it's piping hot. I'm not going to put that plastic thing in it. Put it in a plate, I'll put the chicken in first. Like I said, I've made a lot of rice there. Um, I probably won't eat it all. did have some 30% less fat, but obviously I used it last night and I've been shopping this morning, so I'm actually gonna have to use full fat sort of cream. But like I said, I'm not really tracking right now. So I'm kind of just eating as I go. Then I'll sit here and scan this. I know you're thinking with a spoon. So I can shovel it in. It gets stuck sometimes. Make sure you got a fucking glass of water. Yeah, this is my cleaner. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll have that meal post-workout, the one you've just seen me eat. Then I will have this around, probably about two, three o'clock. And then 
around five, six o'clock. Uh, I'll have another meal, which will be quite similar to this. It could be like tuna and rice or again, chicken or turkey. You know, I tend to stick to quite leaner meats. Stay away from like pork and stuff like that, but um, something along their minds. Then for vegetable wise, I'll either supplement to get my greens in, using a green supplement, or what I'll do is I'll just microwave a load of broccoli. I get my broccoli frozen because then it lasts longer. I hate having like fresh broccoli in my fridge because it will go off. And then I'm just stuck with chucking, chucking food out and wasting money. Okay. So what we're about to do now is we're about to go to York and I'm about to get some physio um, on my back because I injured it. So yeah, it would take us about an hour to get there and then I'll probably have an hour of uh, soft tissue work um, try and get that sorted. All right, guys. Right, guys, we trained on Friday. I hurt my back. Then, obviously, had the weekend to kind of recover. Didn't happen. Still hurting. Uh, was meant to go to see the physio on the Tuesday. Me and Ollie were meant to go there. And then it snowed like fuck. And then I couldn't get in the physio till Friday. So now it's Friday. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm got to see the physio which is good because I got a little bit of a niggle again today so I've got a lot of injuries that I need to sort out really so um, we're gonna go in here we're gonna see my, um, my physio Kurt he uh, normally sorts me out it's in York Ultra Flex gym and he um, normally sorts all that all my little niggles out all my little injuries and um, obviously it's not gonna be an overnight fix uh, it's probably gonna take a few days for it to uh, fully recover so yeah, let's go inside. How are you doing? 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 What are we doing today? What, where are you actually doing today? Yeah. Fucking just fucked all over like, yeah, just like trap. And then like, down in the middle. But then I've done something this morning as well. Right. Like, you know where I get normal people, problems people, here. Yeah, like. yeah. And it's mainly sort of tri upper back slash traps. Anything lower back related? Really? I did have a little bit of a back, just like spasms and that, but that's just like normal sometimes when yeah. like maybe my glutes aren't warm enough sometimes, but stuff. And then just looking up towards the ceiling. Good. And down towards the floor. And back up to the middle. And then over your left shoulder as far as you can. See that painful that. Where? Left side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And over your right shoulder as far as you can. Not as bad. No. So mainly when you're looking yeah. left, over left shoulder and left side. Oh, when, right. I, when I did it in the gym before, it was just from doing some like knee raises, you know, I'm like... Oh, just bracing? Yeah, yeah just right. Bracing. I think like, sometimes when I go a bit further forward, uh -huh. I just felt like tweaking, I was like, oh, fuck, take yeah. again. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Like, So I sit up tall, same again, looking up towards the ceiling, and down towards the floor, good, and back up to the middle, over your right shoulder as far as you can, and then over the left shoulder, nice, good, and back, any pain? So it's the same area, it's that sort of yeah, like yeah. elevator scap, right. um, to stretch it, what you can do, if you sit towards the edge, edge of the bed a little bit, so that one where you're basically pulling down on the bed there, yeah. so that's basically separating from here to here yeah so you're going to pull down and this is only in this sort of like early stage where you're just trying to get the relief from it pulling down on that side and then you're just going to look straight down there and you're just going to do that for about like 30 seconds but you can play around with your head position yeah. based on where, where you're trying to feel it but the main thing is keeping that pulled down so that you stretch your both sides Yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Right guys, that's it for today. So it's a bit of a kind of a a day in the life, kind of full day of eating you got. Um, I kind of just went through like what I do eat in a day, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, obviously don't forget to subscribe, guys.